Uh, thank you so much, uh, Deputy Minister, both of yourselves. Eric Tomeka, Litamisha, Kililo, Chekamoka, Nboli, Simolueni, Sanwanani, Absheni, Nda, Huyedah, and good morning. Uh, Master of Ceremonies, the Honorable President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency President Ramaphosa, the former President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Tabombeki, the leadership of the African National Congress led by the Secretary General Figile Mbalula, the leadership of all the liberation movements present, High Commissioners present, Honorable Ministers and Deputy Ministers, distinguished guests, families of fallen heroes, fellow South Africans. It is with profound respect and solemnity that I address you today on this significant occasion to honor the remains of our esteemed freedom fighters. Those heroes and heroines who sacrificed their lives in the liberation struggle. The repatriation from Zimbabwe and Zambia signifies a momentous chapter in our nation's journey of healing, remembrance and restoration. We convene here to not only receive the mortal remains of our fallen compatriots but also to acknowledge and honor their unwavering courage, sacrifice, and the enduring legacy they have bequeathed us. Today, we reflect on the profound wisdom of the great Chinese proverb that says, to forget one's ancestors is to be a brook without a source, a tree without roots. In African culture, it's ancestral right for the departed to return to their homeland, to rest in the soil that nurtured them among their people as they are joined the ranks of our ancestors who continue to guide us. Ladies and gentlemen, repatriation transcends the mere act of retrieving the physical remains of our fallen heroes and heroines. It embodies the restoration of dignity, honor, and recognition of their invaluable contribution to our collective freedom. This process serves to reconnect us with our past, reaffirm our cultural values, and fortify the bonds that unite us to our land, our history, and one another. This act of repatriation stands as a testament to our nation's commitment to preserving our heritage and ensuring that our history is duly acknowledged, encompassing both the sacrifice endured and the freedom we now cherish. We are profoundly grateful to His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa, whose vision and leadership have made this moment possible. In his 2020 State of the Nation address, the President emphasized the significance of remembering and honoring those who fought for our liberation. His dedication to initiating this repatriation process ensures that our heroes and heroines who sought refuge and fought from foreign, foreign lands will now return to their home soil where their spirits can find peace. President Ramaphosa, we thank you for your deep commitment to preserving the legacy of our struggle, for recognizing the story of South Africa's liberations is incomplete without this sacred act of homecoming. We also express our heartfelt gratitude to the governments and the people of Zimbabwe and Zambia, who not only provide sanctuary to our freedom, to our freedom fighters during the height of anti-apartheid struggle, but who have also respected and cared for their remains for decades. We stand united with them in this profound moment as we continue to share deep historical emotional connection in the broader African struggle for freedom and self-determination. As we lay these heroes to rest, let us commit ourselves to never forgetting their sacrifices. They remind us that the freedom we enjoy today was not given to us lightly, but was earned through immense hardship, suffering, and perseverance. 
perseverance. Their spirits will continue to inspire us as we strive to build a nation that reflects the ideals they fought for, a South Africa that is truly free, just, and equal for all. To the families of the fallen heroes, we offer our deepest condolences and our utmost respect. Your patience and resilience in waiting for this moment to come is a testament to your strength. Today we stand with you and we honor the memory of your loved ones. Their legacy lives on. Let us take this opportunity to reflect on the words of our revered struggle icons, Stalandwe, President Oliver Tambo, who once said, the fight for freedom must go on until it's won, until our country is free and happy and peaceful as part of the community of men. We cannot rest. Today we are reminded that the journey of liberation is ongoing and the repatriation of our heroes brings us one step closer to completing this chapter of our history. Let us honor them, let us not forget, and let us continue to build a nation worthy of their sacrifice. Thank you.